What's up, guys? This is Dementor430, and I'm going to be. Uh, this is going to be my first post on Hoppa Gaming, uh, the Hoppa Community Channel, and uh, I'm going to be using the Scar with Extended Mags, the A12 with Extended Mags. I got Stuns and Semtex with Scavenger, Stopping Power, and Ninja. This is going to be uh, obviously my first post, as I just stated. So I'm going to try my best to entertain you guys, give you guys some tips, and hopefully. Uh, Hopefully you guys, you know, like it. And, I mean, if if you don't, drop a comment and tell me what I can improve. Because I'm always looking for uh, good ways to improve my uh, both my game skills and my um, commentary skills. Because I'm, I'm quite new at this commentary. I've only been doing it for about a month. And I'm not really doing... I haven't really been doing it hardcore. I've probably done like four or five videos. I don't know. Um, but, basically... Um, I'm kind of, I kind of have mixed opinions on this map. This is probably one of my least favorite maps on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and that's mainly because there's a lot of more um, camping that goes on in this map. And yes, yeah, I'm kind of camping, um, but in my opinion, camping is the way to go when you know that other people are going to be camping. Because I played one other map on this, uh, one other match before this match. And I didn't record it, obviously. I, I, I only went like 12 and 2 or something. It wasn't impressive. But there was too many campers. So, uh, and I got a little rush happy. And obviously they had the advantage on me. So, basically the way to counter a camper, in my opinion, is by camping back. You may disagree. If you do, it's your own opinion. Um, as I fail with the Predator right here, I try and get this guy through the wall with the Predator. And it doesn't work. Uh, obviously. <laughs> this guy runs right past me it's oblivious and uh... easily got him and was able to take out my A12 on him spray him down and uh... this is pretty much how you want to play favela in my opinion is you want to have a guy up in this room at all time or at least around the rooftops because obviously you have the advantage over your enemies when you're above them because then they have to look up at you and you can look down at them making it easier for you to uh, get something like a headshot on them so you can easily kill them a lot faster as this guy takes me I mean come on man the nerve on this guy I'm taking a dump I'm just about to wash my hands and he has to blast me with his striker come on now what's the point can a man wash his hands and play Call of Duty or is that such a crime I don't know um, but yes uh, give me some thoughts on the color correction as well uh, using it some new render settings on uh, Vegas Pro 9. And, I don't know, I, I like the color correction I used. Um, but yeah, again, I go back up to the roofs, and I mean, that's pretty much how you play this map, as I stated. I have my pave low and my harriers up in the air. Always have them out at the same time if you can, because the person who takes out your harrier is going to be the same person to take out your Pavlo if they already have their Stinger out. Now the Pavlo takes uh, two Stinger missiles, I believe, to take out, where the Harrier only takes one. Unless the Harrier moves and you miss. So, you're really... You're really not doing much if you're going to save your Harrier or your Pavlo. So, I mean, just throw them out at the same time, because there's a lot of kills you can get with um, both those in the air. And, uh, yeah, your Harrier can take the guys out who don't have cold-blooded and run outside because they're morons. And your Pavlo can get the guys who are, like, inside by shooting through windows and things of that nature. And then you can get the guys who are trying to take out your Harrier and Pavlo with your gun. So, works out quite nice as I get my Harrier here. And that's, like, my second Harrier. I believe I still have my Pavlo out. Or, no, that disappeared. Or they shot it down. I, I don't think they were shooting anything down at this point. Usually on the PC, they shoot down air support pretty quick. Mainly because the PC kind of has more competitive players, if you ask me. Like, the PC players, they will do everything to win. Or, um, you know, the con I don't want to sound like I'm being judgmental, but it seems like the console guys, they all um, kind of use the same tactics. And, you know, same, uh, just the same tactics, I mean, simple as that. And 
they'll do a lot more of the cheaper stuff to win. But the guys on a uh, PC will actually do the fair stuff to win. Well, I wouldn't say completely fair. Some of them hack and cheat and all that jazz, and that's not very nice. Um, but when they, when everyone plays fair, this game is probably the most fast-paced and the funnest Call of Duty game out there, and the funnest FPS out there currently. Uh, I don't know how Black Ops is going to be, but uh, I probably won't be getting Black Ops because it looks kind of, and it looks kind of, looks like it, it has a lot of work to do, and I th honestly, in my heart, think that uh, that Call of Duty Six is probably going to be the best Call of Duty in in um, a while. I mean, currently, it's the best. Call of Duty Four, I didn't really like that for the frags because they were really overpowered. They were like the noob tubes in this game. Um, and World of War, I never played. But anyway, the game is winding down. I decided to hide to reserve my 35 and 1 KD. If you like this style of play and you like my commentary, please check me out. The link will be in the description. Anyway, peace out, guys. Break a sweat. Nice work.